Hello Brownsburg High School, thanks for watching BHS TV. The crew here at BHS TV would like to welcome the German exchange students that flew in this weekend to BHS. Today is Monday, October 2nd. I'm Eli Balbach. And I'm Rose Krizan. And here's what's going on at BHS. Are you interested in joining Starlight Voices and Spotlight Singers in Code this show choir season? Applications for this year's show choir stage crew are outside Mr. Strasser's room A1209. Applications are due by Wednesday, October 4th and can be turned into Mr. Strasser or Drew Baum. You can do stage crew and still be involved in other school activities, and this year includes two out-of-state competitions. The season goes from January through spring break and ends with a trip to reform at the Show Choir Nationals on the Grand Ole Opry stage in Nashville, Tennessee. French Club will be meeting again in Madame Condon's room, B1410, on Thursday, October 5th, after school from 3 to 3.45 p.m. They will be discussing National French Week, which starts at the end of October. They will make posters to spread the word about famous Francophone people and hang them up for display. Paper and some art supplies will be supplied, but feel free to bring your own art supplies as well. Anyone in French class or interested in Francophone culture is welcome to attend. See Madame Condon for more information. Any junior or senior boy interested in participating in the 2024 Mr. Bulldog competition should attend the call-out meeting on Tuesday, October 3rd. The meeting will take place at 715 in Mr. Duran's room, A1403. You can also scan the QR code to sign up. The 2024 Mr. Bulldog theme is Battle of the Boys Bands, and the competition will be on Thursday, January 18th. Equality Alliance invites all students to their next meeting after school tomorrow in LGI Room B, across from the cafeteria. Equality Alliance is a social, student-led organization dedicated to promoting equality and acceptance at our school. EA provides a safe space for all students while offering student body support and celebrates diversity regardless of race, ethnicity, religion, disability, sex identity, or orientation. They look forward to welcoming all. If you have any questions, please see Mr. Paget in B2403. Our club will be meeting after school on Tuesday, October 3rd and Thursday, October 5th in B1202. Please see Mrs. Keith with any questions. Bulldogs for Life Club will have their next meeting on Thursday, October 5th at 7.10 a.m. in Mrs. Heldman's room, C2308. Ben Ice from Students for Life will be giving a talk about Planned Parenthood. Donuts will be provided, and as always, all are welcomed. We're so fortunate for our school to be clean. Yeah, we have our lovely custodians to thank for that. Well, BHS TV's Emma West got the chance to meet up with one of our custodians. With custodian day being today, I wanted to check in with one of our custodians to see what their job entails. This day was created in 1965 as a way to recognize and appreciate the countless hours custodians put in every day to ensure schools, offices, and other places are clean and safe for everyone. As you can see, our school is pretty spotless. For me, I'm kind of like a concierge custodian. I do like radio calls and uh, like monitor the back dock area and uh, do a zone, like a small zone, and then uh, we do lunch duty every day, and I mean, that's pretty much all I do. Everybody else has their own zone and answers radio calls and does lunch duty as well. So. Some ways we can help our fellow custodians out would be picking up all your trash, leaving stuff the way you found it, and just generally being clean. Some students may not know, but there are around 30 people who work day and night. Their whole job is to make sure our school is all special and shiny, even when we're in the middle of construction. Uh... Well, this is kind of like a gripe I've had for like three years now, but I wish everybody would push their trash into the trash can, not just like pile it all on top. That's just gross. So, yeah, I don't like that part, but other than that, everything's good. Not only today, but every day you should take some time to stop and say thank you to our lovely custodians who make our school a better place. Genuinely being nice and saying thank you for all the hard work that all of us do. And we do the same thing for them. I mean, they do a lot of hard work as well, and we appreciate them. So. And I hope you all appreciate your custodians a little bit more than you did before. MOS, BHS TV. Thanks again to all of our custodians. Now it's time for sports. Hey Haley, what do you have for us today? Hey guys, after some rain ruined a couple nights of events, our teams finally got back into action last night. Let's get things started with the football team who hosted Zionsville on Friday night. It was a historic night for the dogs as they were unstoppable in a high scoring affair at CF Roark Stadium where they got a 59 to 21 win. On the dog's first offensive play, Garrett Sherrill took a handoff 63 yards for a touchdown, and he continued to run all over the Eagles. Sherrill finished the game with 340 yards rushing, just 11 yards short of the school record, and four touchdowns. Aiden Job also got on the running action with 126 yards and a touchdown. It was a new school record for rushing yards in a game with 493. Jake Dunn was very efficient in the passing game, completing 10 of 12 passes for 186 yards and two touchdowns. Cam Edwards and Caden Ollinger were on the receiving end of those TD passes, and Corey Smith had a couple of catches for 75 yards. The Dogs also set a new record for total offensive yards in the game with 701. 
The defense also played well and were led by Mason Kiefer with seven tackles. Sig Diallo, Chance Whitfield, and Diego Munoz all had interceptions in the game, and Alex Burke, Jackson Sargent, and Quentin Russ all had tackles for a loss. Great job, guys. The JV team also defeated the Eagles 52-21. Drew Bostick had an interception, and Isaiah Billups had two receiving touchdowns. Nice job, guys. The freshman football team continued their impressive season, defeating the Eagles 48-7. Trenton Russ had an interception return for a touchdown, and Brandon Sharp had both a touchdown run and touchdown pass. All three teams will take on Noblesville this weekend. The Unified Flag football team took on Carmel over the weekend. The Dogs came up just short on the scoreboard, 33-26, but had some great performances. Isaac Johnson and Gavin DeJong ran the Philly special for a touchdown. Ali Beer was unstoppable on offense with a touchdown and three extra points. Nathaniel Jackson took a handoff all the way to the house for a TD. Evan Teeple, Nathaniel Mendenhall, and Reed Wilson all played tough on defense and had an interception for the Dogs. Nice job. The cross-country teams were at the Nike Town Twilight Meet on Saturday night against some regionally and nationally ranked teams. The boys placed 15th overall and were led by Ian Baker, who was 15th individually. The JV finished 18th overall in the Open Varsity Division against 84 other teams. Nice job. We didn't receive any results from the girls' meet. The boys will head to North Central for the JV invite on Wednesday. Good luck. Here's a look at the boys' soccer sectional, which kicks off tonight at Plainfield. The Dogs drew Mooresville in the first round, and the winner of that match will advance to take on Ben Davis in the semifinals. On the other side of the bracket, Plainfield will take on Avon, and Decatur Central will take on Pike. Good luck, guys. The girls' soccer sectional kicks off tomorrow at Pike. The Dogs will face Ben Davis in the first round. The winner of that match will advance to the semifinals to take on Plainfield. On the other side of the bracket, Avon will take, take on Pike, and Decatur Central will take on Mooresville. Good luck, ladies. Good luck to the volleyball teams who will host Ron Colley on Tuesday for their Dig Pink game. Come out and show your support for all those who have battled cancer. They will host a bake sale to raise money for a local family currently fighting. That's it for sports today. Back over to you. Thanks, Haley. That's all we got for you today, BHS. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and we will see you on Wednesday.